What in the god dang Sam hell are we looking at right now, people? We are looking at a bunch of rigs. Um, all Kydex. I should have brought some leather down for this. Um, but a bunch of holsters. A ton of holsters. And really, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't even really a lot of holsters. Um, there's a lot going on here. And uh, there, there are several different makes and models here. Actually, most of these, I think, are for Glocks, which is super boring and lame. And I hate it. We do have a 5.7 holster here from We The People, which is awesome. If you're looking for an inside the waistband 5.7 holster uh, for your FN 5.7, this is great. Review coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, besides the point, regardless and nonetheless, what are we actually talking about? We're talking about the fact that you cannot just have one holster, one rig, one piece of kit in the grand scheme of things. Uh, you, you need different holsters inside the waistband, outside the waistband, sometimes a pocket holster, an angle ankle holster, a shoulder holster, um, you know, a, a drop leg holster, a competition holster. This is a Red Hill Tactical uh, double thick Kydex rig with adjustable thumb retention. It's awesome. It's running on the drop offset um, Safari Land, I believe, with a tech lock. Or not Safari Land. I, don't, I forget who the hell. Uh, these are... Blade Tech belt, by the way. Uh, these are the Ghost 360 pouches, multi-fit, basically. These are the little Safari Lands with the rollers in there. Supposed to make mag extraction easier, quicker. Um, and this is not the cheapest setup, but it's also not the most expensive, you know the high speed low drag setup either so you know but i shoot competition somewhat seriously you know i shoot every month pretty much and i shoot limited division with my sti 2011 and uh, you know i go there to compete i go there to have fun and learn and train and, and develop skills and stuff but i go there to compete and i gotta have good solid kit that's gonna allow me to do that if i showed up with some serpa stuff for one they don't even allow it because you know they don't want you to text grubner your ass Regardless, besides the point, or I show up with some Uncle Mike's, Mike's Cheapo Depot stuff that I got from Walmart or, you know, some Wish.com type of gear. It, for one, it could be dangerous because it's not made properly because you didn't invest the money into the equipment. Um, you know, it could fall apart, could not hold the gun properly, whatever. Um, and plus, it's just going to be sloppy. It's not going to work well for you. Like, you, there is such a thing as paying for a name, but at the same time, uh, a lot of the times, those companies, for the most part, deserve the name that they have. Um, with firearms especially, it's serious stuff. Whether it is just plinking or shooting on the range, or you're reenacting, or shooting cowboy action, or USPSA, or three-gun, uh, life and liberty, you know, Minuteman go kit type of stuff. You know, let's let's take a look at some of that. So this has the Safari Land. This is a uh, Black Rhino concealment uh, for a P80 with a streamlight on it. It's got the drop offset Safari Land. Okay, this is a high quality piece of kit. Fits the gun right. It's molded perfectly. It'll even accept a gun with a dot on it. It's multicam. Um, you know, stuff like that. So this would be like a, a go to war fighting rig or like a range rig, or you could use this for competition or even duty use or different stuff like that. Um, but you're not, you know, necessarily concealed carrying with a rig like this. So, you know, different applications situation dictates the tactics. Um, let's say you are concealed carrying. This is a Harry's holsters rig, um, for a Glock 19. Excellent, excellent, excellent Kydex. We got some more Harry's holsters in here right now with my carry gun. It's loaded. It's a Glock 43. This is the Singleton rig. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Best Kydex on the market. Um, check it out. Description box below. 10% off. Code Terribly Tactical for anything from Harry's holsters. He makes, seriously, in my opinion, the best Kydex. Here's another one. Uh, this is the competition rig, which I shoot my, my STI. So um, this is for a Glock, but it's a paddle style. Uh, competition rig, low cut for like limited division. It's legal. It'll accept a dot for like carry optics. Uh, again, Harry's holsters, awesome stuff. Uh, seriously, the best Kydex on the market, in my opinion, the most consistent Kydex. Um, there's going to be a review coming up on this singleton for the Glock 43, which replaced my Taurus GX4. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's super comfortable. It, it does everything I need it to do. I like the lower profile, slimmer rigs. I'm carrying a smaller gun. I don't need a big bulky holster, but you can have those options with the foam padding as well as like the wing or the wedge or whatever to tuck the gun back into your body. Awesome quality stuff. Um, here's some Cheapo Depot Bravo concealment, but it works outside the waistband uh, magazine pouch. This is uh, for a Glock, I do believe. 
Here's another one of those Ghost 360 Tacticals with the, uh, it's got like a little leaf spring in there and uh, you know, it'll hold the mag um, accordingly. This is adjustable, you know, different stuff. You could conceal carry using a piece of kit like this. It's a little bit bulkier than it needs to be, but you know, it could work. You could use this in a defensive Minuteman Life for Liberty type of setup. Um, I'd like a little bit more retention than that, but depending on how it's configured and, you know, how stiff the spring is or whatever, it could work, you know, different stuff. Um, you're going to end up with drawers full. Here's another Harry's holster uh, inside the waistband for a Glock 19. Uh, just quality stuff, guys. 10% off. Save yourself some money. His stuff is already affordably priced to begin with. And he's got a wide variety of options of different guns and accessories for the holsters. Just check it out. Either way, I will post a link in the description box below. It's always posted there. Uh, with the, the coupon code, I'll post the same thing in the comment section too. Make it easy for you guys. Uh, here is a Watchdog Tactical Rig. This is swappable between, it's for a Glock 17, you could wear it outside the waistband or inside the waistband. It works great for both, uh, excellent piece of kit, adjustable retention, all that. You know, you can carry a full size gun. I've worn this appendix, I've worn it strong side or you know, um, maybe four, four o'clock, you know, sometimes it works well. It's a good range holster and the clips, you know, you could swap out the clips for when you're running outside the waistband to the completely molded ones, but it works fine too with just the inside the waistband style clips, you know, it'll get you by obviously not pr uh, preferred. But just I'm showing you guys, and I got several more Kydex rigs for all types of different guns. I got several more drop leg style rigs, um, you know, from Safari Land and different stuff. I got way more holsters for, uh, again, I should have brought the leather down. The leather's at least classy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I literally have probably close to like a hundred holsters of all different types of guns and, and variances. And you got, you know, I might have... Okay, I got the inside the waistband holster. Maybe I got a small like pancake style outside the waistband holster uh, for, for this gun or maybe a PPK or something like that. Or, you know, this is small enough to fit in the pocket of like the LA police gear tactical pants that I wear most of the time. Um, you know, so maybe I, I got a pocket holster. So you could have one gun and several different holsters for the same gun. Um, several, several different ways to carry magazines for the same gun or speed loaders if it's a revolver, whatever it is. Uh, because of the way that you have to dress on a specific occasion or at work as opposed to when you're off or when you're on duty or off duty. Or, or when you're, you know, you're fighting for life and liberty, you know, Minuteman, Boogaloo, whatever. Or you're just shooting on the range or, or competing at your local USPSA match. Don't be afraid of having lots of kit, lots of different kit. I see a lot of people working in a gun shop, you know, that they, they come in as customers and they want the one holster, the end all be all. A lot of people like that alien wear stuff or alien gear stuff or whatever the hell it is. Um, I'm not a fan of that, that multi-use different stuff. A lot of that stuff is cool and, and it can work, um, but realistically right tool for the right job. You can get it done with a flathead, but it's easier with the Phillips. So, you know, that type of thing. So have the specified dedicated kit that you need uh, for what you're doing. And it's gonna work a lot better for you. Try and buy quality, okay? The, the little uh, Bravo concealment stuff, you can get super cheap. It's not Kydex, it's injection molded polymer or whatever, um, but it works, you know, at least for the meantime. Harry's holster is very affordable. Watchdog Tactical, wide variety of, you know, different options, we the people. I also have a link to We The People. Um, they have a, a wide variety of options that some other companies don't offer. I mean, I, not many people are carrying an FN 5.7. It's, it's you know, more of a niche gun. Not many people even own an FN 5.7, but it's an amazing gun and I love it. And uh, they make a holster for it. So if you have an FN 5.7, you want to carry it inside the waistband. I do believe they also make an outside the waistband for the same gun. Um, it's awesome. It fits great. It's molded perfectly. They got a wide variety of different patterns and colors and stuff you can get. It's cool. Uh, affordable. You can find that link in the link tree. But either way, guys, um, you're going to end up with a lot of kit. You're going to end up with a lot of holsters. You should be buying quality or at least the best quality that you can afford. And you're going to have drawers. I have drawers that are just filled with this stuff. But it's useful. And, and 2.0, you can only wear one at a time or two at a time or whatever. God forbid something happens in this country or whatever. You've got kit that you can pass out to other people that they can use. Maybe they're less prepared than you. Um, just different stuff, guys. I mean, it's right tool for the right job. Dif different guns, different modes of carry. Um, 
have the tools you need, use the tools you need. And uh, till next time, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for watching and participating. Make sure to like the video, share the video. Um, let it, let the people out there know that you know it's, you can't just have the one Uncle Mike's holster that you stuff in your sweatpants. You got to have the right tools uh, for the right jobs, people. I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to this channel still. If you want to be subscribed to this channel, YouTube has been unsubscribing my subscribers as of late, and you guys have been letting me know in the comment section, which I appreciate. So check in. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video. I'm constantly uploading content, and uh, I don't think it really actually works, but sometimes. Sometimes it tells me that it works. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to quit talking at you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Also, let me know how many of you out there have just drawers or bins or closets full of this crap. You know, and, and do you actually use it? Do you actually have, you know, rotating out, okay, today I'm going to wear this holster because I'm wearing this, or I'm going here, or I'm doing whatever. Um, do you have dedicated kit? Like, would this be already on a set of pants, a pair of pants for, you know, the British are coming, and you get up and go, you know? So you're out there shooting every weekend, what do you got? Uh, appreciate you guys. We'll see you. Quit talking at you, rambly, rambling, ranting, rambly, rambly, ranting. Like, share, comment, subscribe, apparently. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Peace.